Okay, hello. Today, uh, the goal for today's video is to determine what happens to the total resistance, the total current, and the current through the bulbs, the voltage across the bulbs, and the brightness of the bulbs when we add a resistor in series to a series circuit. And we're going to do this with one of the PHET simulations. They have excellent simulations. I may already made another video using the Keynote, and I made similar videos for parallel circuits. So please check out this video, link to those in the upper right-hand corner. And don't forget, before we get started, in the lower right-hand corner, there's that little red button there. Click, subscribe, get all my excellent chemistry, physics, and math videos. Okay, so uh, let's get started. I did say we're going to use uh, the simulation from PGT Simulation, the excellent simulation. There's their website. Check it out, whether it's math, science, or teaching, or learning. They have excellent HTML simulations. So this is the simulation we're going to use. For this video. Now this might look a little complicated, but all we have is the battery here, and the voltage of this battery is supposed to be, it doesn't really matter that much, but I wanted it to be exactly 18 volts. And then we have a switch. We have three bulbs in series, one, two, and three. And the way I have this set up is I have another switch here, so when I turn this first switch on, I think this one turns the circuit on, so to speak. And when this switch is closed, and the current will flow through this switch <clears throat> and will bypass this light bulb. When I open the switch, then the current, this has now an infinite resistance, so the current will be forced to flow through this bulb. And we're going to see what happens to the total resistance, the total current, and the voltage and the current and the brightness of these two bulbs. I call this bulb number one and this bulb two and this bulb three. I have a voltmeter here. We can measure the voltage. You can see here we have a voltage of 18 volts. And we have a current meter. We can just plop this on here and see what the current is in various places. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this switch. And I'm going to start with this switch closed. So you can see I have this switch closed now. And that means that the current is flowing through this switch. It's bypassing this bulb. I have this bulb lit and I have this bulb. So when I open this switch, what happens to the total resistance? of that circuit, that series circuit. Now you'll know first of all that the current, the, uh, the equation for resistance in the series circuit is simply R1 plus R2 plus R3. We have two bulbs here. Each of the bulbs has a resistance of 10 ohms and that means currently, so to speak, the total resistance of that circuit is just 20 ohms. When I open this switch, all right, when I open this switch, I force the electricity, the current to flow through this bulb. And now I have three bulbs lit and they went from 20 ohms to 30 ohms. So when I open this switch, when I open this switch, that means I'm increasing the resistance of the circuit from 20 ohms to 30 ohms, like that. Okay, so we know when we open the switch, we add another bulb in series and the resistance goes up from 20. 30 ohms, so the resistance increases. Now, what about the current? Okay, I'm going to start with this switch closed, which means I'm bypassing this bulb, which means I just have current flowing through these two bulbs, and I can put my current meter anywhere I want, because we know this is a series circuit, and in a series circuit, the current is the same anywhere. So you can see it's 0 0.9, even through here, it's 0 0.9 amperes. Now, when I open this switch, you'll notice that the current decreases. Well, why does the current decrease? Well, the current decreases because the resistance increases, and the current and the resistance are inversely proportional by Ohm's law, which is V equals I times R. We can solve for the current is then equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. We increase resistance, and therefore we decrease the current. Okay, so the resistance goes up when we open the switch, and the current goes down when we open the switch. All right, now what about the Let's talk about the current through bulb one and bulb two. Well, we know the current is the same as the series circuit. So when I open the switch again, once again, I put this bulb into play and the current goes down all over, which includes the current through this bulb and the current through this bulb. So once again, when I open the switch, I decrease the current because I'm increasing the resistance. The current is the same throughout. So that means the current through this bulb and the current through this bulb also decreases. All right, now what about the voltage drops? Okay, 
So here I have an 18 volt battery, and you can see when this switch over here is closed, the current flows through the switch, this bulb is not lit, and that means that the voltage across each of these bulbs, the voltage drop across each of those bulbs is going to be nine volts. And you can see I have nine volts across this bulb, and I can also put this over here and check this bulb, I have a nine volt decrease across this bulb, and that's because nine and nine is 18. I have my voltage split, my voltage divided between those two, <clears throat> those two bulbs. Now I'm gonna put this back over here, we can see I think a little better, and then I'm going to open this switch and see what happens to the voltage drop across that bulb, and you'll notice the voltage drop decreases to a voltage drop of six volts. That's because now I have three bulbs and I'm going to have a voltage drop of six volts across each bulb. So the voltage drop across the bulbs increases when I close, when I open that switch, because now I have six, six, and six, and six plus six plus six is 18. They have to equal the voltage of the battery, the sum of those voltages, okay? So you can see I have six volts. When I close this switch, then I split the voltage between these two bulbs. That's nine each. When I open this switch, then I split the voltage between three bulbs, and that's six plus six plus six is 18, all right? So the voltage drop across each of the bulbs decreases. Now, what about the brightness? Now, the brightness is the power. The power is calculated as the current times the voltage. That's the brightness of the bulbs is directly related to the power. You can also see in this kind of a pictorial representation, um, you can see I have this brightness, so to speak, and this brightness, so to speak. These are bulbs have equal brightness. You can see when I close the switch, these two bulbs get brighter and this bulb goes out. So when I open this switch and put the third bulb in series with the other two, then the brightness decreases the brightness of these two bulbs decreases. They have this brightness, and you can see that I open that, and their brightness decreases. And that's, you can think of it maybe in two different ways, because I said the brightness is equal to the power. The power is the current times the voltage. And the current decreased, the total current decreased when we open, and open that switch. It goes from 0.9 to 0.6. And also the voltage drop decreased. It went from uh, a voltage, as you can see here, of nine volts to a voltage of six volts, okay? So the power decreases, the brightness decreases because both the current and the voltage across those bulbs decreases, all right? So there you go, we went through all of that stuff. We went through the resistance, the total resistance, the total current, and then the current, the voltages, and the brightness for each of the other two bulbs, bulb two and bulb three. Okay, let's go back to our presentation because we can see we have a bit of a summary that we can do right here. This is what we just went through. The total equivalent resistance of the circuit increases. Therefore, the current is going to decrease. The voltage drop across bulb two and bulb three decrease because we're splitting the voltage across an additional bulb, three bulbs instead of two. The current through the bulb decreases because the total decreased and the brightness of those two bulbs decreased because the brightness is the current times the voltage, all right? And the current and the voltage decreased. So thank you very much. I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please do all the following four things. Like I said before, subscribe to my channel, get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Please give me a thumbs up for this video. Leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section below, and don't forget sharing is caring. So this video with all of your friends, Show them just how much you care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.